Hi, I'm Craig, and welcome back to another On the Road video brought to you by ApplianceVideo.com. Today, we'll show you how to remove and replace the impact switch on this Fridgedare top load washing machine. Now, let's begin your repair. Stop. Before beginning any repair, always be sure to disconnect the power to the appliance. It is also recommended to test the outlet for the proper voltage. Remember to also turn off the water. To gain access to your components, we will first have to go to the back of the unit. There are three Phillips screws that will have to be removed to take off your console cover. Next, grab onto these tabs, let the console drop down onto a protective surface. Now that we have the console rolled forward, we have clear access to our impact switch. This would also be called an off balance switch. The reason why you'd be replacing this is if the unit is constantly saying that it is off balance and shutting down. So the first thing you will wanna do is take out these two Phillips screws that are attaching it. Now, when we lift it up, there's a rather large lever that goes down. Make sure you are easy lifting it up. If for some reason you can't pull it out, don't force it. See what is obstructing it. Pull it out, and this is your impact switch. Now, to test your impact switch, it is rated for six volts DC, so when the washing machine is running, you should have six volts DC going to it continuously. Next, you can lift off the wires. Use a tack puller or a small screwdriver just to pry them off. And you can test it by testing for continuity. With the switch in its normal state, you should have continuity going between these two prongs. But as soon as you actuate the switch, the continuity will go away. So you can use an audible tone. That's generally what I do. Put it on here, it should beep, press in, it should stop beeping. If you are having any other readings other than perfect on this, it will need to be replaced. When installing your new impact switch, make sure you feed it in with the prongs going toward the back of the washing machine. Keep it tilted back so that it slides in perfectly and drop it into place. Next, reinstall your two holding screws. Reinstall your wiring. One wire is shorter than the other. Figure out which one doesn't go far enough. That one will go on the bottom. Put the one with the extra slack on the top. Now we can reinstall our console. Now when reinstalling your console, we will drop these pieces into the slotted areas on the machine. Let it fall down, drop into place. Replace your three holding screws. And this will complete your repair. Thank you for watching another quality video brought to you by appliancevideo.com.